Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode two of the hunt for the UK's greatest driving roads. You can see today I'm in my Z4 Coupe. I'll leave a link to the playlist above. We've done a couple of videos on this car now, but it's the latest addition to the channel. So I'm really excited to get it on some good roads out here in the North York Moors today. Now you can see currently we're kind of, we're just outside Castleton actually, which is quite a nice village, kind of at the top at the north side of the North York Moors. You can see there's some pretty nice hill scenery behind us. It's quite kind of moorland areas around here with some nice open flowing roads. But anyway, let's have a look at the map and I'll show you the route that we've got planned for today. Okay, so looking at a map then, and yes, this is inspired by the legend that is Harry Metcalf. We are using an analog map for this. So you can see just about, this is Castleton here. We're actually slightly north of it, approximately where this road kind of juts off. So we're gonna head down south from here, across Blakey Ridge, down this road, and then we're gonna head east down into Rosedale Abbey. And then from there, we're gonna head kind of southeast down to Pickering. And that'll kind of be the halfway point. And then from there, we're gonna head east just a little bit and then rejoin this road here that unfortunately gets cut off by this map. I apologize, it's not the best map in the world. But yeah, it comes north of here. You can see it would kind of jut out this way a little bit and then come back. And it'll go all the way up to the A171 right up here. And this is basically towards kind of the Whitby area. It'll be pretty close to the coast by the time we get to there. And then you can come back this way and complete the loop. I think it should be roughly, probably about 50 or 60 miles in total. Obviously there's various little bits that you can do. For example, we're gonna be missing off kind of the southern half of Blakey Ridge and kind of heading over this way. So you know, there's various bits where you can kind of take a slightly alternative route, but we're just gonna explore a little bit. We might change the route as we go. We'll just kind of see what the scenery is like, see what the roads are like. But of course, we'll keep you updated with the route that we take. So anyway, I think that's enough of that. It's time to hit the road.
Okay guys, so you join us on the road to Rosedale Abbey now. You'll have just seen some footage there in the front of the car. It's a fantastic section of road that. It's quite open and flowing. You've got good visibility. There's some tight twistier bits, but you can also carry some speed through there. So it really is an enjoyable section. Of course, as well, we've got this fantastic scenery, which you can probably see behind me of Blakey Ridge itself in the background there, which runs all the way down south towards kind of the York area, actually. Anyway, I'll show you on the map where we are now so you can get an idea. From here, we're going to head kind of southeast down into Pickering. So we'll catch up with you a little bit later on. join us at the top of Britain's steepest road that being the Chimney Hill Bank and it's <laughs> roughly like a one in three gradient I think for most of the way up not amazing for driving but it's a pretty cool kind of experience I suppose and as you can see up here from those drone shots the view is quite simply amazing you can see for absolutely miles all through the valley so yeah definitely worth a little detour up here uh, we actually came up from Rosedale Abbey we're going to just basically go back down the hill and then on our way to Pickering. It's just a much quicker way and the road's better that way as well. So we'll catch up with you a bit later on. Okay, so you join us here on the Wades Causeway. We've headed up north from Pickering now, actually. We're about halfway sort of back up to where we started and we're in some really nice open moorland areas. You can see some of the roads that we just come on there. There's a big, big forest area, which is really, really nice. Amazing sort of scenery, quite kind of relaxed driving roads, but it is starting to open up a little bit more now as we head over to the moors and head higher up. So looking forward to seeing how the roads develop and uh, yeah, we'll check in with you a bit later on.
Okay guys, so that marks the end of the route. You join me just outside of Egton and Gothland. So we're pretty much all the way back north. Basically the end of this route for us was really the road that is the A171, which runs all the way to kind of to Whitby over, over to the coast. Because from that point, basically the North York Moors ends and you're back kind of into normality. So yeah, this marks the end of our route. I really, really enjoyed it actually. I think this is a great sort of area for driving. Perhaps the last stretch we did isn't as good as the first stretch across Blakey Ridge. And in terms of how it compares to the North Pennines, obviously what we covered in episode one, I do think that the North Pennines overall are better for driving, but this definitely has a little bit more, you know, touristy feel about it. There's a few more people here. There's a little bit more going on. You know, the North Pennines at times can actually feel a little bit bleak, as great as the roads are. So it really depends what you're after. If you're after the driving, then maybe the North Pennines is the better place. But having said that, over the Blakey Ridge side of things in the North York Moors, it's absolutely fantastic. So anyway, that marks the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.